Bono Groovers here, and I wanted to give my thoughts on an awesome topic. Uh, 10 more questions for the vinyl community video makers. And of course, this is from Richard McCook. Richard, awesome questions, and I definitely wanted to partake as a part of our VC vinyl community. Vinyl Groovers here, and I'll go ahead and get started. So number one, do you ever get disheartened when a video you think should be popular is ignored? And if yes, give an example. Can't say that I get upset per se or disheartened. Um, some videos are for some people. Uh, you know, obviously that's what we like about the, the community. We have different vibes, different energies, a lot of uh, variances in what we like. So there are going to be some videos that uh, are going to appeal to some people over others. Uh, so no, I, I can't say that I get disheartened. I can understand why some prob probably would, but I, not, not me. <laughs> uh, number two, how often do you check your subscriber count? I check it fairly regularly. Um, Vinyl Groovers, I'm, I'm fairly new to the, to the community, um, so it's cool to see it grow. I don't have a lot of subscribers right now, but I'm hoping to continually gain them over time. Uh, if, if they find my, um, my information, my, my vibes, my energy, my videos to their liking, uh, that's what the VC is all about. Um, I'd rather have a, a good core solid number of followers or uh, those that have subscribed to my channel uh, with that enhanced engagement. I think that's the important uh, part for me. Uh, number three, how often do you ask people to hit the subscriber button? Well, we're about building a community. Usually I do. I usually say, hey, hit the subscriber button. It'd be nice to have you as a follower. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Even if one day I have a couple thousand subscribers, I'll still say, hey, if you like what you see, uh, definitely let me know and hit that button. I don't, I don't look at that as a negative. I think that's something that, you know, builds the engagement of the community. Um, so yeah, so again, 10 more questions that uh, for the vinyl community, again, uh, from Richard. Uh, so number four, how do you feel when you lose subscribers and what is the largest amount you've lost in a day? Can't say I've paid attention to that. Again, I'm fairly new to the VC. Um, so I, I check it, I do check it, but um, can't say that I could really answer that question right now. I, I, I haven't uh, noticed a lot of people that leave the channel uh, as a subscriber. How do you feel when people comment on your video and they obviously haven't watched it? For example, a comment comes in for a 15 minute video uh, one minute after it's been updated or uploaded. Doesn't, I, me personally, there have been times where I've been watching a video and subscribed immediately to something that they may have said that maybe just struck my interest. And um, I think that's great. I don't, I don't really personally feel negative about that. I think it's good. If something sparks your interest, even if you never come back to the video, that's cool. Um, or maybe you will come back to it, but there was something that struck your interest immediately. Maybe it was in the first uh, minute of a five minute video. That's cool with me. I, 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 I'm okay with that. Um, I've done that myself on occasion, and usually I'll go back to the video later, uh, especially if it's a longer video. I may not have time to really watch the whole thing, but if there's something that strikes my interest on it very early on, I'll definitely, uh, you know, uh, leave a comment. But I, I typically watch those videos, um, you know, at, at, to the completion the first time. But there are times I haven't done that, and I will still leave a comment. Um, again, the engagement is what, what, what I personally uh, like about the VC. All right. So um, if, you, if you or already have hit the 1,000 subscriber count, will you monetize your channel? And if you are eligible for the thanks option, will you promote it? I don't really see myself monetizing uh, this channel, uh, even if down the road it continues to grow or it gets larger. Um, that's not my particular objective. I think that's cool if that's something that 
uh, you know, that, that that's the focus of uh, members of the VC. Um, there's definitely a benefit for it. Um, you know, with the technology, there are many ways to monetize uh, different streams of income. That That's all great. That's all cool. Me personally, I, I, I'm here for the vibes and the learning about new music and uh, just that, that VC community. That's one of the reasons why I joined. Um, so I don't see myself monetizing the channel. Never say never, but I don't, I don't, that's not my objective. Um, do you ever sub another channel just to get a quick sub back? And when you do sub other channels, approximately what percentage do you hit the notification bell? I hit the notification bell um, fairly regularly, um, but I'm not about the quid pro quo. I'm not about, hey, if you sub, I sub you back. There are many people that I'm sub to that are not necessarily sub to my channel, and that's cool. Um, and there are people that maybe are sub to me. I'm not sub to their channel. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I know that's probably a, a focus of some people, but um, I'd rather just have the count of subscribers that I have that engage. That's, I guess that's the most important thing to me. Um, and I, yeah, I can't do the, the, as they would say, the tit for tat. I, I, I no, <laughs> not, not for me. Um, let's see. So again, these are the 10 questions. Uh, Richard McCook, uh, definitely appreciate these. These are good questions. Really, really good stuff. Um, let's see. So let's see. So how long do you think it is acceptable time to wait before replying to a comment? If you reply to comments. I say re reply to them whenever you want. Uh, it could be a year later. It can be five years. <laughs> um, you know, you reply to the comments. I mean, I'm pretty consistent with it, but I'm here for the engagement and the vibes and, you know, learning something from other members of the VC. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but I, I, again, I don't think that there is a particular uh, time limit that we have to put on ourselves. Let's let's just make the VC um, come as you are vibe uh, is good for the engagement. And yeah, I mean, I, but I just don't see there that having a particular time frame suggests anything about a person. They just got to it when they could get to it, <laughs> you know. Uh, so that's my thoughts on that. Uh, again, I'm all about that engagement. Again, Vinyl Groovers here. Just wanted to, uh, you know, Richard McCook, you pretty good questions here. Wanted to uh, make sure that I uh, gave my thoughts on it. Absolutely. Um, do you like Record Store Day? And if so, after buying uh, Record Store Day items, do you feel the need to show them immediately? Or can you wait till you get home and open them before showing? I, I've gotten things from Record Store Day that I've never shown. I've gotten things from Record Store Day that... I've shown you, uh, you, you know, a year or two later. Um, there's a Roy Ayers Fela Kuti album that I have. I just recently, um, you know, created a video for it. I, I'll be posting that soon. I got that album maybe a year or two ago. Um, no, I don't think there's a rush, even if it's record store day. It's cool to talk about it. Um, and then there are times where maybe within the week or so, I'll post something that I got from a recent record store day. Um, that was maybe a week previous or a week prior. Um, it's all vibes. It's all just, you know, when you want to do it. I know that obviously there is some focus and urgency about uh, doing it at the time of or showing what you got. It, it's all about your energy and your vibe. I mean, if you want to, great. If not, great. Um, I've done both. I've waited and I've shown them, you know, to, to a fairly recent time as it relates to a record store day. Either way, is all good. <laughs> uh, good question. Uh, do you ever, uh, do you enjoy participating in and watching collaboration videos, but do you ever get put off by watching them if they go beyond the one or two hour mark? Um, I enjoy them. I recently came across one or two collaboration videos talking about vinyl, about records, and I, I enjoy it. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, I, it's like anything else, you're going to have a set amount of time you can dedicate to YouTube. Uh, and if the video that I'm watching warrants my time, I'll watch it. Absolutely. Now, I'm not typically a long video watcher on YouTube, but if it sparks my interest, yeah, I'll stay. 
don't have a problem with collaboration videos. I think they're pretty cool. Um, it's all about the differences that we can have in the VC or any of our communities uh, on YouTube. Uh, and here's a pretty cool question. This is a bonus question. Do you check your previous video just to make sure you're not wearing the same shirt? <laughs> I, I like that one. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I have very early on, uh, but then I stopped caring about that, whatever. I mean, we have wardrobe with, you know, probably a couple of weeks worth of clothes or whatever, but sometimes you may wear something, uh, you know, two weeks later. <laughs> it's okay. And it's okay to make a video if you're wearing that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's funny. I do, I do think about it more so when I first started, less now. Um, but I thought that was a pretty cool question. Uh, so I appreciate your time. Again, Vinyl Groovers here. And uh, this is a pretty cool idea. And I appreciate the community of the VC. All right. You all take care. Peace.